Well, I was brought up as a Christian by my parents. In fact, I was born in Tanzania because they were missionaries there. And that was just how things were to me. By the time I got to 12, I had my own faith and I wanted to explore it my own way. And I went, I said to my parents, can I go off and look for my own church? And they supported me doing that. And I found South Parade Baptist Church in Headingley, which was fantastic. It was a place that looked after us as young people and encouraged us to think about the big questions in life. What's it all about? Encouraged us to be kind and compassionate and to care about other people and to care about the world. I wanted to know what life was really all about and the more I delved into those questions, the more I found I just ended up not agreeing. I have worked out in my own mind what I think spirituality actually is. The inner life and not just the outer life. I'm trying to get that balance right. Um, another one is about values, have, uh, which is about consciously trying to nurture and cultivate values that you think are good and healthy. And then there's integrity, which is ultimately the thing that meant that I couldn't belong in the church anymore. Um, it's about being honest with yourself uh, and everybody else about about where, you know, what you actually believe and, and what your experience of life has taught you. And that can be painful at times. It can mean you have to leave behind things that were very precious to you. Where do you go in secular society to work out how to make the world a better place? To work out what your place is in making life worth living for yourself and everyone else? I haven't just been sort of sitting there thinking. I have been living my life and being involved in um, activism, environmental activism, political activism, local community activism and um, this is how I, you know, how, how I work out what really is important in life for me. Human society is like an ecosystem. It has great diversity in it. People are always going to have different lives, different experiences, come to different conclusions and yet we can all be spiritual. My part in that is just trying to bring people together to talk about that, having people in my house to work through these big questions of where we've got to in the world today and what's the best way of living and what do we all think? What are our different faiths and different religions and different attitudes? Anybody who lives life with compassion at the centre of it, I would call a spiritual person.